<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry, we gotta sell the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on YouTube? One on the X-Room here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we are at Any Motorsports Ranch, and luckily enough, I'm here with On Any Moto. They invited me out, and you know what? We got the Prilly out here. You're gonna love some of the content coming, so stick around. Mr. James here. This track is so technical, that bike is perfect here. So let's have some fun. All right, the whole purpose of Elite Follow is to kind of learn the track pretty well, you know? I'm uh, I'm not used to this track on a bike, so I'm trying to learn this bad boy. And that's the beauty of part, beautiful part about Elite Follow on a track day like this. You want to find people that are willing and able to teach you. But what you want to try to do is mimic the lines that they're on and really get a feel for where you need to put the bike and how you need to put your position, body position. My biggest thing for today is really get a feel for body positioning. You know, everything's more exaggerated and more extreme on a track because you're pushing harder. So it's all about that feel and you know, it's something I'm not quite used to. And well, what better place than doing on track? Keeping a nice pace, nothing crazy. You know, the whole point of this is to train and learn. And that's the best thing about the track because it's such an open place to learn. I tell you what, those of you who've never been on track, this is a freaking workout. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing when you have someone teaching you, you know, or showing you, they kind of pay attention that you're back there, they don't just kind of take off on you. There we go, now we're carrying a little bit more speed. <laughs> that little 390 is amazing because you don't ever need to get out of the throttle. Oh, good. Good lead follow. Crack of shoulders. Yeah, look at James. <laughs> Hello, everybody. He's passing people on a 390. I think he passed me. Honking with joy. I tried to pass on style. I'm like, oh, Mike's going to finally see me pass somebody. I've been yeah. doing style. <laughs> I like, I hung out extra like wide. I'm like, I hope Mike sees this. <laughs> Before race. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. The BMW freaking HP4 freaking race. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, people, I'm gonna try to uh, 
<laughs> try to maintain myself here, my composure. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> There's just a lot to dig in. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The turning of this motorcycle is insane. The way that it changes positions or transitions from turns. Oh my god. You cannot. Oh my god. The way this bike feels. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even care that we're not hauling ass. This is a dream. Oh Christ. There's no weight to this thing. Man. Oh. Whew. This bike's gonna take a few laps to get used to. Jesus Christ. Come out, DP Chef. <laughs> the quick shifter is just insanely good. Man, the quick shifter of this bike is just freaking phenomenal. Like, this is what I wish BMW, all BMW felt like. Oh my god, the drive! Whoop. Driver's bike is just crazy. Ah, come on, get up and see. There you go. So many things to think about. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit balls. Fuck. Oh, I got the ride of my freaking dream bike. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, the HP4 race. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god. How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry, we gotta sell the dog. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there's a shiny metal piece right off of the straight. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's over twice. Now it's like this big. <laughs> oh, you ran over it? That, yeah, that was actually my that was actually my marker for the turn. <laughs> 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 if I'm on the outside of it, I'm good. If I'm on oh, the inside was, of it, yeah, I'm tight. Somebody else ran over it too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you just rode an HP4 for the very first time. This is a bike you've been in love with for years. How did it feel? <laughs> this thing's amazing. I still don't have the words for it. It's just so freaking good. All right, so compare it to the RSV4 1100 factory that you brought out to the track today. I think I literally called that a hog. The way this thing feels is so light and nimble. It doesn't feel like it's 300 some pounds. It just changes direction so easily. The brakes are oh, they're good. One finger, a little squeeze, and you're there. It's got so much engine brake, you don't need to brake that hard. But... Finally, it just yeah. felt so good. Once you get over the price, there's nothing like it.
<laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The end of the day. What a freaking day it was. The Aprilia performed amazingly. BMW HP4 race. Oh my god. That is such a freaking amazing bike. And I can't thank Arnie Moto enough for one, inviting me, but two, letting me take that BMW out for a ride. Because oh my god, was that was that everything I dreamed of and more. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some more track stuff. So don't you worry. With that, y'all have a good one. I'm out.